welcome in this new episode about Robo User. So today we have with Scott. Yep. Hello, Scott. How are you going, Max? I'm um, good. I'm good. Thank you. Always good when we're going to talk about robots. Uh, so we are in Australia, in New South Wales. Yep. And uh, can you please present your small farm? So we're, yeah, so we're at Wilgut, uh northern of New South Wales. Um, and we run roughly farm 9,800 hectares. That's it. And that's it. Yeah, so it's small. Uh, Convert at home, but mainly cereal cropping. Uh, so we grow from canola, fava beans, what we're in the shed here. Yeah. Uh, wheat, uh, barley, chickpeas. They're our main winter crops. So today we're going to talk about uh, robots, the swarm yep. farm spraying robots. Yep. So since how long do you work with this machine? So we've had the machine since the start of May. Uh, and we've done just over, so about nearly 1,200 hours with it and about nearly 10,000 hectares already. 10,000 hectares since yeah, May? Since this May, year. this year. So, um, yeah, so no, it's been working well. We, we quite like it. So. so so you bought the machine, right? It's uh, Yeah, so you, there was two options. We could buy it outright um, or you could lease it for three years. Uh, and I think there were sort of $90,000 per year to lease it, but we chose to um, buy it outright. Yeah. Okay, so. so I think it's time to, to watch the machine. Yeah, let's go. Well, let's go and have a look at it and yeah. see how it goes. Let's go. Done. which can look forward and back and then here at the front we've got the little sensor uh, what goes out to 18 meters that's for the security or the security and you've got your stop bar so if it hits anything it stops the whole machine unfortunately we lost um, scott's microphone when he was presenting the machine so the robot is pulling in 24 meters air sprayer that costs about two fifty thousand dollars australian dollars uh, it's equipped with the spot spraying with its solution system. Uh, on the robot, there is a thousand liters tank, and the trailer has an additional two thousand hundred liter tank. He was explaining to me that the benefit, the main benefit of spot spraying, is that uh, instead of spraying the entire field, he's able to spray only ten percent of the field which makes um, sense since he doesn't have to refill that often and he can save 90% of uh, chemical cost. I asked him why does it have a weather station on the machine. So he explained me that it's key to have a weather station on the machine for two reasons. The autonomy of the machine, because it doesn't have to take care of if it's windy or rainy, but also in order to, to guarantee the best spraying quality uh, no matter what are the weather condition and it can work day and night because uh, the robot stops when the condition are just not fitting now let's get back on the video yeah let's uh, let's start the... so it's as easy as the... it's on a app right How much it's done on the paddock and what, what you got left every chemical in the tank. Yeah, so you have constant and direct constant. feedback uh, yep. of the machine and what machine. is it? Yeah. If anything ever happens with the machine. Okay. So now it's starting. So how many hectares can you cover per hour, for example? Uh, per hour, like this, we've got nice open paddocks uh, with long runs. We could probably around 15 hectares an hour, we do. Uh, it's an 18 metre machine. We can cover up to sort of 15 hectares an hour. Um, but if conditions are right, that can go 24 hours.
one question that uh, people ask, how do you fill up this machine? Because when it's running all day, all night, how do you fill it? So it's pretty easy because it's spot spraying, so it doesn't use the percentage. Um, so you go into your app, you make a zone, and we've got tanks in most paddocks with water and, and that, and then you just do a zone. When, it, when the robot's empty, he travels, folds up, travels back to the zone, to, sends you a message, fill him up, press play, and he goes back to the paddock, back to work. So, so but, it's so simple. But you need someone on site to fill Yeah, it. so like, because he's using a spot spray, you're not using much chemical mm -hmm. per day. Literally 20 minutes a day, we fill him up with fuel, um, with chemical, and you don't see him for 24 hours. So that's it's pretty beautiful. easy. Well, it's pretty easy. That don't take so much yeah. time. Yeah, and it doesn't take much time and, and logistics to run. After six months and 10,000 hectares uh, using this uh, machine, what is your global feedback? How do you like it? Mate, I uh, really enjoy it um, because it's, yeah, you don't have to do it. You're not sitting in it, it's autonomous. Yeah, it's great. Like, it's, that's the beauty of it. Um, less hours in a machine, yeah. Is there a few things that you would improve on this machine? Uh, oh, probably a little bit, but not too much. Uh, it fits what we want to do. Um, yeah, you know, maybe down the track a few different attachments. It'd be nice to be back at our normal width at 36 meters. Um, Bigger, larger? Probably larger, that'd be nice. Um, and then also, you know, potentially add a few attachments of a wheel track renovator um, and, and fertilizer spreading urea. That'd be, that'd be something, you know, down the track, I think. And uh, if you would have something to tell to other growers that think about buying or buying or investing in such technologies, what would be your advice? I do it. That's do my it? biggest thing. It's That's it. it. It's here. It's, it's done. It saves you two things as a farmer across the world. You love saving money and saving time, mm -hmm. and it does both of them. Yeah, you can have, you can be spraying while you're at the pub. That's the best thing about it. That's you what know. you do. Yeah, you can do that. But, you know, like it. It, it just gives you so much more time to go and do other stuff while this is ticking away. You know, it can tick away 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, you can't get anyone else to work those hours, so it's yeah. imperfect. And at way. least the robot uh, do not attract the uh, flies like we do no, right no, now. No, definitely not. They, they'd be <laughs> right. Um, but no, look, as I say, jump in, have a go. Uh, you, you won't look back, I think. Yeah, definitely. So. And uh, so what is next uh, on your farm? Do you think uh, about the other technologies that you I think so. Uh, eventually we will. Um, but we thought we will, by starting now, we started with a spawn farm. We've got our head around it, how to map, etc. how it all works. And so that going forward, we wouldn't hesitate looking at anything robotic, autonomous machines, definitely. So I will have to come back, uh, we'll have to come back in a few, few years. years and see where we're at. All yeah, right. Definitely. So. So yeah. thank you, I think thank you very much. We discussed uh, about everything. Thank you very much for, for your time and your experience. No, thanks for coming out and having a look, Max, and um, yeah, showing the rest of the world what, robotics what we are doing there. in Australia. What we're doing in Australia, not just overseas. So. Uh, it's really, it's always a pleasure to meet uh, people like you and such uh, technologies and to see uh, what is going on and what could arrive uh, in the yeah. future uh, in uh, Europe or no, it's exciting, elsewhere. It's exciting times ahead, yeah. definitely. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we will see each other in another place and with another robot. <laughs> Bye.